Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who are in need of something, the Lord is going to supply it from his riches. Do you believe that? Yes. The Lord is going to make the poor rich and spiritually Amen. very poor they are going to be spiritually very rich. Amen. Materially those who are poor the Lord is going to take away their pain of poverty and give them riches during this pandemic, during this economic recession and during this time of many who have lost their job and many have a hunting of job, many are fired, some are hired. but all those who have this problem of unemployment underemployment the lord is going to bless them second corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 for you know the generous act of our lord jesus christ that though he was very rich yet he became very poor on account of us so that by his poverty you might become rich praise the lord praise the lord those who have economic problems financial crisis problems in their business some people during this lockdown season during this pandemic committed suicide in india and elsewhere because they don't have any business they don't have any turnover they do not have any job opportunity anxiety and fear destroyed their life but almighty god says through the scripture i will make you rich praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus let the poor say that i am rich hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus but the lord says blessed are the poor because they will trust in me and i will satisfy them philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says today the lord is going to fulfill these two prophecies first corinthians 8 and 9 also will be fulfilled and philippians chapter 4 19 also going to be fulfilled my god will fully satisfy every need of yours according to his riches in glory in christ jesus during this holy hour the six areas in our life are going to be healed body mind soul family finances areas of demonic bondages and the destruction happened through the bondages are going to be healed so healings in six areas of life today we pray in a special way the healing in the fifth area of our life that is finances because when i prayed this morning the lord given me a message speak to my people worry not about your riches about your resources it will be added to you because psalm 34 verse 10 says young lions suffer want and hunger but the one who seek the lord lack nothing good in their life do you believe that and also the lord says matthew chapter 6 verse 33 seek not the riches first but the order of the riches that is jesus christ first of the things will be added to you will be given to you believe all these promises that i have preached to now that is second corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 and Psalm 34 verse 10 and also Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 these four, four prophecies are going to be fulfilled during this holy hour Proverbs chapter 10 verse 15 says Proverbs 10:15 Poverty and material lackings misfortunes are just make their life ruin because yesterday i got a message whatsapp message a businessman committed suicide his wife and four children crying suppose this man would have been online every day if he would have been filled with the holy spirit if he would seek the kingdom of god first 
the lord would have given him riches he would not commit his suicide he would not finish his life but unfortunately that man had a fear and anxiety concerning his wealth he committed suicide all those who are thinking about suicide because of incurable diseases because of financial crisis because of family problems brother and sister i tell you trust in the lord jesus is sufficient for you jesus is sufficient in your life the wealth of the rich is their fortress for a poor man he wants to have something in his hand the poverty of the poor is their destruction but jesus came to this world he became very very poor and when he died on the cross the poverty is very much visible not enough cloth on his body right from the bethlehem from the cradle to calvary on the cross he lived like a poor man but in fact he is the author of all riches he is not poor but he became for poor for 33 years to take our poverty on him nothing else that is second corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 he became poor so that our poverty is to be carried to the body of jesus and all the poor people have to become rich and also the mother church says in catechism book article 517 the magisterial teaching says believers will become rich through the poverty of jesus praise, praise the lord, lord. Praise praise lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah that is not the prosperity gospel but the poor people have to have something to eat and also those who are jobless should have some job those who have business they should have business because in the mother church god has assigned jesus has assigned different works for the people and they have to find their living through that work for example gospel preachers in all christian denominations live by the preaching of the gospel first corinthians chapter 9 verse 14 those who preach the gospel those who do god's work full timers they have to live by the gospel they should not go for business they should not go for uh, profane work they should not go and work and earn though saint paul said i worked with my own hand and i earned my livelihood so that i set an example to you but he himself said that is not the case for all or evangelist they have to live by the tithe and love offering of the people this is god commanded praise the lord praise the lord. lord and also people who are doing business is assigned to the, that business by god almighty you have to do business hallelujah hallelujah and enrich the people and create job opportunities and also those who are farmers their occasion is farming for example genesis chapter 2 verse 15 the lord almighty says work nurture the land protect it and till the ground and keep it safe protection of the nature agriculture and cultivation and development of the world is in the hands of the human beings yes. first corinthians chapter 12 verse 28 god has assigned works in the kingdom of god some are apostles they are doing apostles work some are prophets they are doing only prophecy and some are leaders they are governing the nation and they have to find out their earnings through governing the nation some are in the service industry they have to do service to the humanity some are assigned by god social workers some are instructors and some are interpreters and some are doing powerful power ministry some are healers not all are healers some are healers some are interpreters some are assistants in certain places helpers so various kinds of tongue 
they are intercessors people who are using tongue and praying in tongues that is an intercession as bible says romans chapter 8 verse 26 praying in tongue is an intercession they are intercessors people who are using tongues are interpreters praise the lord praise the lord they spirit, spirit inter- intercedes with them so lift up our hands today we pray in a special way pray for all people who are doing different categories of works and crafts they have to become rich they have to find their way out now i tell you brother and sister before we begin the divine mercy chaplet three messages i give you the prophecy four prophecies are going to be fulfilled in your life but three messages if you are in a dead end what do you have to do now how many of you are in a dead end there is no progress there is no way out there is no exit everything is closed and you are cornered look to this crucifix and listen to this message book of exodus chapter 14:21 they are on a dead end behind an army in front there is a red sea left and right one side mountain another side desert no escape dead end those who are in the dead end lift up the hands together with the pastors in the church moses was a pastor of 20 lakh people whom he led out of egypt out of slavery and that moses the leader of the community extended his hands over the red sea god has sent a favorable wind from the east side and that problem was solved those who are on red dead, dead end of their life every medicine failed every effort failed every business techniques failed brother one more technique that you can yes uh, you can do now yes and your both hands towards this sanctuary along with me and to jesus in the name of jesus i pray over those who are on dead end no escape there is no means open a door for them lord you are the one who opens the door no one is able to close it down book of revelation 3 verse 7 you have the master key to open all the doors which are closed the lord opens a door for you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody will shut the door against you. Jesus opens opportunities for you. 